Good morning, my friends. I didn't notice yesterday, but uh, where are we at? First Chronicles just had one chapter left after I did the reading yesterday morning. So rather than mix two books on one video, I'm going to do this video just of chapter 29 of First Chronicles, which is the last chapter in Chronicles, First Chronicles. I'll get that video started uploading. <coughs> and I'll come back and do another video beginning in Second Chronicles, because I can give you all at least two chapters in the morning and two in the evening, and often I give you three chapters. So I'm not going to mix them together. So I'll do two videos this morning, one ending First Chronicles and another starting Second Chronicles. So here we go with the end, the tail end of First Chronicles, chapter 29. Furthermore, David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon, my son, whom alone God hath chosen. <clears throat> Solomon was, you know, David had, I don't know how many wives. David had a lot of wives. Solomon was, the, was born to Bathsheba, the woman that was married when David messed up with her, remember? And then he had her husband killed so he could have her for his wife. And he already had a wife or two before that. But anyway, Solomon was uh, born through Bathsheba. All right, let me get going here. David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon, my son, whom alone God hath chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God the gold for things to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and the brass for things of brass, the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones and stones to be set, glistering stones and of diverse colors, and all manner of precious stones and marble stones in abundance. And friends, if y'all are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that. I, I'm not doing this channel for money. I've I'm doing it to glorify the Lord and share the gospel. And so I need people subscribed, which I don't understand all the algorithms and stuff, but the more people that gives thumbs up or down, makes comments and subscribes, the higher up in the algorithm it goes. And I know I'm not an eloquent speaker. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm just a plain old ball-headed redneck from the Texas Gulf Coast that loves Jesus and wants the world to know and love Jesus. So y'all help me in that way, please. 29 verse 3. Moreover, <clears throat> because I have set my attention to the house of my God, I have of mine own proper good of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and seven thousand talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses withal, the gold for things of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work to be made by the hands of artificers. And who then is willing to concentrate his service this day unto the Lord? 
then the chief of the fathers and princes of the tribes of Israel and the captains of thousands and hundreds with the rulers of the king's work offered willingly and gave for the service of the house of God of gold 5,000 talents and 10,000 drams and of silver 10,000 talents and of brass 18,000 talents and 100,000 talents of iron and they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced for that they offered willingly because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord and David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation and David said blessed be thou Lord God of Israel our father forever and ever thine O Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all <clears throat> both riches and honor come of thee and thou reignest over all and in thine hand is power and might and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all now therefore our God we thank thee and praise thy glorious name that was a nice little four verse prayer y'all but who am I and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort for all things come of thee and of thee of thine own have we given thee for we are strangers before thee and sojourners as were all our fathers our days on the earth or as a shadow and there is none abiding our, our O Lord our God all this store that we have prepared to build thee an house for thine holy name cometh of thine hand and is all thine own <clears throat> I know also my God that thou triest the heart and hast pleasure in uprightness as for me in the uprightness of mine heart I have willingly offered all these things and now have I seen with joy thy people which are present here to offer willingly unto thee O Lord God of Abraham Isaac and Israel which that's Jacob that God named Israel our father keep this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of thy people and prepare their heart unto thee and give Solomon my son a perfect heart to keep thy commandments thy testimonies and thy statues and to do all these things to build a palace for the which I have made provision and David said to all the congregation now bless the Lord your God and all the congregation blessed the Lord God of their fathers and bowed down their heads and worshiped the Lord and the King and they sacrificed sacrifices unto the Lord and offered a burnt offering unto the Lord on the morrow after that day even a thousand bullocks a thousand rams and a thousand lambs with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel 
and did eat and drink before the Lord on that day with great gladness. And they made Solomon, the son of David, king the second time and anointed him unto the Lord to be the chief governor and Sadoc to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of the Lord as king instead of David his father and prospered and all Israel obeyed him. And all the princes and the mighty men and all the sons likewise of King David submitted themselves unto Solomon the king. And the Lord magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel and bestowed upon him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. Thus David, the son of Jesse, reigned over all Israel. And the time that he reigned over Israel was forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Jerusalem. And he died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor, and Solomon his son reigned in his stead. Now the acts of David, the king, first and last, behold, they are written in the book of Samuel, the seer, and in the book of Nathan, the prophet, and in the book of Gad, the seer. With all his reign and his might and the times that went over him and over Israel and over all the kingdoms of the countries. That concludes First Chronicles. Y'all, let me get this video uploading and then I'll come back and begin Second Chronicles with you, okay? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some comments and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I love you and I appreciate every one of you.